My name is Paul Anders. I'm a retired world champion in rally, and right now I'm both excited and nervous. I'm competing in Africa Eco Race from Monaco to Dakar with 95 others. We will struggle our way through 6,000 kilometers of sand and rocks through Morocco, Western Sahara and Mauritania. I know it's going to be dangerous. Accidents often happen in these kinds of rallies, something that I have experienced because many I know have lost their lives. I'm here with Felix, the guy I've been training for many years now. He's so ready. I to ride with Paul, it's amazing. I uh, won the world championship and a lot of stages in the car and number two overall. That's too is a really good opportunity to learn a lot for the next step and just one day maybe coming through the top. I have run many races before, World Championship and Paris Dakar. <laughs> This time is the most important time ever that I finish this race. I have to come first to Dakar. And now we are driving for a whole ship and a girl that showed up in my home a few months ago. Fride. Fride, ja. Yeah. I didn't recognize her. She told me her name was Fride. Fride lived for a few years on a hospital ship called Africa Mercy with her family. Fride asked me today to raise one more time to raise money for the ship. Ja, du bodde på skip i tre år. Every time I'm in Africa, I want to give. I spent a lot of money in motorsports, and especially in Africa. So to give a little bit back to something that's bigger than myself, that's a good feeling. I thought I had uh, retired. What she said was very interesting. Well, it sounds so very fresh out. It does that also. But after that, also, I am mentalt langt borte fra den rallykjøringen, for det er ikke helt ufarlig, og så er det ikke helt gratis. Nei. Det ble litt kaos i huppen av oss, men på en, hyggelig, på en hyggelig måte. After meeting Fride, I got a lot of things to think about, because I, I hadn't been riding bike from Monaco to Dakar for yeah, over a year. Hei, Mette. Hei. I had to make a big decision. Hvis du skal kjøre, får du ikke lov å bli skadet, for det er det siste gang. Jeg vil ikke sitte igjen her alene. Derfor vi agree at jeg skal gjøre en siste race for the ship og alle people som får hjelp fra Afrika Mercy. Så da kaller jeg bare Felix Jensen, min gode venn. Halla! Hallo! Hva ser du som du blir løp på meg også? Gjedre? So I called my sponsor. We agreed that if one of us win, we get 20,000 euro. Felix, who are you? Second place is 10,000 euro, and third place is 5,000 euro. That's good. Are you nervous now? How much are you doing? It's a really good opportunity to helping so many people. I've never been able to do that before, and yeah. You can feel uh, already now it's a really big pressure. Africa Mercy, it's a really big hospital ship. They help so many thousand people every year, good doctors and nurses working there for free. And now it's in Dakar. That's the reason we can help them now, because we are going there.
stage was really good for me. So today I started being a little bit forward to the ball. The plan is to give it proper, to take uh, the two people in the front and driving with them to the end. Before the stage, I was quite uncertain. It was not a good feeling. I haven't been on the bike for over a year, and at least not in the proper desert. Butori is here. He is in good shape, uh, <laughs> riding every day almost, all year. Lyndon Poske is here, fast rider. They are both motivated to win this race. After 190 kilometers, Paul was passing me. That was a speed like it's no tomorrow, you know. I won the stage, so it was a really good stage and the feeling is good. Felix was number four, um, 18 minutes behind. Now we are both uh, close to the podium. When you took me in the you just came up and said here. Da, da så det så en million dollar, altså. Jo, det er det. Sykkel ikk, og jeg var glad. Du bare, det kom masse dumper og gress og drit, og du bare... Jeg gikk av. Det gjorde ikke på. Tenk det var gærlig. Stage 3 is going in the Atlas uh, mountains. It's a very long stage, it's hard, and before the start, is uh, uh, everybody is a little nervous because this is going to be a long stage. I think for me it will be a good day because I like when it's long and hard. 50 mil! Yeah, it's over it. Nei, jeg er i en dårlig posisjon her, for nå startet han Italien her fire minutter bak meg. Så vinner han i dag. Hvis jeg blir to, så jeg må bli tre. Ja. Skjønner du? Ja, ja. If you win one day, you have to start in the first position the next day. So it's good to win, but it's not a good feeling to start in the first position. Because you know that probably the other guys will catch you very soon. Butore and uh, Poskit, at some place I need to attack them. Alessandro Butore is the most dangerous competitor. Uh, he has uh, the experience, he's been to Dakar, riding a lot of uh, rallies. He won the Africa race uh, last year. So to beat him would be a dream, but not so easy. Lyndon Poskit has the biggest team I ever seen in Africa race. Yeah, he's an English hero. Actually, he's a traveler, traveling around the world, not so much into races. So now it's interesting to see how fast he is in the desert and how his navigation is doing. But the man himself. He's all no, about. it's uh, you know, it's a pleasure to ride with him, and I've been watching. Him race the Dakar when I was young before I even did the Dakar, so to be here racing with him is really nice, and I think we've had some fun out there. Yeah. Now you are the fast young guy. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> if I do big mistakes, it's easy to be catch up by the riders behind. So I will do my best. This stage is 500 kilometers long. So when it's so long, it's the stage where you can make a big difference. I was 17 years old when I got my first motocross bike. So I was riding that for 10 years, motocross and then enduro. In 2000, I started with a rally and started directly on World Championship. I did one world championship in 2000 in Dubai. 
one and a half year after I started in my first Dakar. The feeling of uh, winning a stage in Dakar is, uh, is uh, very special. It's a lot of uh, good uh, riders here this year, and uh, they have much more experience than me. I was here last year and had uh, one stage win, and I was number four. Who knows what's going to happen this year? I feel I'm a little bit faster, so it's going to be good. I think we have uh, good chances. Hulaya has a tumor of her face that keeps on growing. Patients like this are often rejected by their family and their community. They have to hide, they have to live like animals. It's very difficult for them. Mercy Ship is a floating hospital and it provides surgeries for uh, people in different countries in Africa and everything we do on the ship is for free. So the patients doesn't have to pay anything. This is the third time I'm on the ship and everyone that works on the ship works for free. And then we also uh, cover all our costs. We want to contribute uh, to the people that have less than us and uh, we see in Africa that the people have not the same access to healthcare as we have in Norway. For these patients, uh, this is their only chance to have this kind of healthcare. Okay. We secure the trolley. Paul Anlos is a very famous person in Norway, both in the motorsport community and in Norway in general, so that he chooses to ride for us, that makes us very, very proud. The day was good for us. I was uh, second after Butori and uh, Felix was number four, seven minutes behind. So, yeah, but uh, the situation now is good. Right now we are collecting money for the ship. Ta ringen da. Hallo! Hei, hei. Hei, hei. Nå er vi på vei ned til dere. Hvordan går det om bord her? Er det mye å gjøre? Det kom for eksempel en jenta i dag. Hun var fem år, tror jeg, i lag med mor si. Oi. Ja. Så hun skal klargjøres nå, så blir hun operert i løpet av et par dager. Fantastisk! Vi skal gjøre alt vi kan for å komme ned til dere. Enten så kommer vi på motorsykkel, eller så kommer vi i helikopter, for da har vi krasjet. Nei, en av delene. <laughs> Men det er, det, er, det er veldig mye som kan skje, så det er liksom sånn prosentvis for at begge to greier det. Det er litt sånn 50-50 det altså. Station number four, it uh, will be uh, quite fast actually. Now it's starting to be a little bit more flat, but in the end, I think it will be a lot of mess because it's uh, we have uh, old rivers and it's a lot of dry and dust, and that's really dangerous. Felix is a very good driver and he's very hard. He can drive forever, but he's young and very hungry, and now he has something to ride for. So I have to calm him down not to be overexcited. The slowest part is behind us. I'm only 18 minutes, I think, behind uh, Paul. And last year I was one hour and 18 minutes. So this year I'm really hoping for uh, to try to catch him up again. This is after day three. 
Og så er det 9 igjen. Det er dårlig tegn. Nei, men. Ta det sånn der, bare bit henne sammen. Today is full throttle force. I think it should be fast. Maybe around 170 kilometers. I will catch up with the guys in the front. And uh, maybe I will try to go in a little bit behind them. And uh, if they go in the wrong direction, then I will go. Go for it. I think today he will catch us. And then they have to calm down. Just stay behind, watch, learn, stay out of the dust take the time. If he catches, the, his uh, position will be top three anyway. Every time I, I call and speak with the people on the ship, I get uh, extra power to, to finish this. The balance between watching the road and the instrument, you need a lot of experience to do that quickly and the right. I feel like starting to go really fast now. Me and the bike, we are one. It's going fast, but it's easy to drive. The most dangerous things is the things that you can't see. There can be a stone under the sand. But the wheels go down in the sand and hit something you can't see. So then you bow, you fly ahead. There is some bad injuries in the sports. And I had one in uh, April. I crashed and knocked my head. That's why I haven't been riding for one year. I had not too many injuries, but uh, the biggest one was in 2013 in Qatar, in the desert. I crashed and broke my tie, was all off. That uh, was not a good moment there, but I stayed in Qatar for a few weeks and flied home. And, but now it's working again. I lost uh, eight good friends in the sport. That's why I have big respect and not take any risk when I'm uh, Riding. It is not so good to come home in a body bag. If you navigate good, when like me, very often go in the front, I take my time and uh, I feel actually I don't take uh, so much risk now. We had never been there and just driving too fast, all of us. I was uh, seen behind me. Paul was there. It's not so good when you have a fast driver behind you. Then so I was thinking, okay, Paul can go. And the Italian guy was behind him again. So I tried to be in the middle of them, so maybe Paul can catch some minutes on Butteri. Then it was a lot of dust. When I crossed the finish line, I got a very bad feeling. Felix was not there. Something happened. I hope, uh, maybe I hope the bike stopped, not crashed. What happened, Felix? Uh, I was coming after uh, Paul and Lyndon, and uh, then the dust was too much, and I was hitting a big bump. I was high side the bike. So it's uh, just flying, you know. I take my both shoulders. I can do this, but this the other arm is kaput. 
ないなおいしいラスフィットやろかあっこやばあっビリギルサムネでダラスストーブロあっラリティやつけはいファシュパンティモラファンだあっこやらんなフィリックスファンディオンのようにドクスクラシェンのようなマニキャクネクトのリキノイナーはい、あおこきしゅうのメラモン。え、ほにげろってね。It was a big crash. And luckily he is alive. I have so many friends that died, so he have to take care of the body now. This really hurts. Doctor says I'm I'm done with the race and uh, can't drive anymore. Det har vært på pallen, så har fått 100 000 til uh, Mercy Kit da, på båten. Og det er, den hjelper jo mange ting. Så den skal ikke gjøre sånn uh, 900 000 hadde gjort. På baksiden av skulderen så er det helt hakende kreft. Jeg klarer ikke å ta ut armen. Men det kunne jo gått mye verre. Jeg er veldig glad at han er alene, men det er veldig sterkt at han må fly hjem. Ja, lykke til da. Du også, Bon. Kjøp en da. Jeg vet at du skal... Jeg må jo kjøre fortere, ja da. Ja, ja, men jeg vet jo det, men... Bruk hua. Du skal ikke ligge enda. I've done a lot of stupid things in my life, and now I'm supposed to fix it. And now I must go home. It's unreal. Ah. Hello, Felix. Good to see you. Hello. Oof. This morning is uh, not so good. It's uh, terrible. It's, uh, in fact, uh, everybody is concerned about that Felix is not here anymore. So that's a not, not a good feeling because he, everybody liked uh, Felix, so everybody is missing him right now. Six o'clock. Let me help you for. The dream was to be together on the podium in Dakar, but uh, um, yeah, that's not going to happen. So now I have to do my best to be there. At least I have to be there alone, but uh, yeah. The stage today is 477 kilometers, so it's a long stage. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. We will see what uh, Botori and Lindon can make today also. For me, the real race is starting. The sand, the big desert, the big navigation. Right now I'm after Botori and 20 minutes ahead of Lindon. You know, this is rallying and anything can happen to any of us. And, uh, and I think it's going to be a little bit like this, hopscotch backwards and forwards between who starts the next stages. And my plan, my aim is just to navigate well. Uh, yeah. In Lindon I have control, but uh, on Buttori now I have to attack hard. I'm very motivated, even if Felix has gone home, so I have to do my job now. Get all the way to Dakar. Who 
Leia has a tumor in her face that keeps on growing. Eventually that will prevent her from eating and in the end it will end prevent her from breathing. This is uh, difficult surgery. You have to be very accurate. They're bringing the kid now. Sala. Oh, she's a little bit afraid. Ask her to take some deep breaths. My job today is to make sure Holea is under anesthesia and comfortable. Well, the surgeon uh, will remove the tumor and uh, try to reconstruct her face back to what it was. This has a huge impact on their life. All of a sudden she can meet with other people, take part of the community, live her normal life again. For many of our patients, this is surgery is life-saving. And for all of them, it's life-changing. And to see people have their life changed like that is just amazing. to make no mistakes. I have to navigate uh, perfect all day and have a good speed all the way to the finish line. I hope Mr. Butori maybe is not so concentrated today. Mauritania is special because uh, of the landscape. It's, it's so big, there's it, nothing there. It's only you and the desert. Today I catch up with uh, Butori. He was uh, lost for a while, but he came back. And then in the end, we was four bikes together, but I went in the front and did all the navigation. That gave me a very good feeling. Tomorrow will be a very interesting day and very fast. when everybody is tired because when, when harder it is, the better I am. I will give everything today. It's not so far up to Butori. today and it's only on the overall is only two minutes between us what concerns me now is that I have problem with my my neck it's uh, very stiff and a lot of pain I can feel now that I'm not so well prepared and not in so good shape. The legen har tagit en liten cowboystreck. Det är uppe i vägen ut. The muscles is uh, is stretched because of the weight of the helmet. Det är tablet. It's okay with the tablet. It's not perfect. Okay. I need more. Oh, yeah. I took one yeah, yesterday yeah. and one this morning, but now it's okay. 
it's far now to go to Dakar, but uh, I will make it, but there uh, will be a lot of pain. Okay. One. I retired from the professional life in 2014. It's very good to do this race now, to try to give something back to Africa, to Mercy Ship, because I spend so much money in all my races through, through Africa and poor countries. So uh, it's good to give it back. That's a good feeling. It's not much, but it's something. This morning is really hard. Today is 600 kilometers. I have a headache, I have a stretch in the neck. Early in the morning, so now I have use for all my routine. A few days ago, we had an accident with one guy. It was uh, a big accident. That reminds me of I want to finish the race also. So, so actually, it's to go out and do the same I've been doing the whole race, to concentrate and take no risk, but still go fast, doing my best. It's possible to catch up Butori. I'm fighting him, but he is also fighting himself, like I am. Now it's two stage more to get into Dakar. I'm in second place, four minutes behind Butori. But I, I still want to win this race. I've done it before and I want to do it now, especially now, because of the ship. Today I have been given full gas all the day. Butore was behind me. I had a lot of pain in my neck because of the stretch, but uh, 600 kilometers, full gas, a little pain, fantastic. I feel like I'm riding also for Felix. He's home now, so I think it's good for him also. It's uh, in overall, it's two minutes between us, so <laughs> that's not so much, but. It's not enough yet, but uh, yeah, it was a fantastic day. Oh, two minutes of advantage on Paul. It's difficult, eh? This year, Paul is really strong. I've tried to push him always, but we've always been able to push him because it was very difficult to navigate, and anyone who was in front of him was able to open the course. Like this for one week now, but now is now is all the time full gas pain. Right now my neck is very very bad. Of course I will uh, ride tomorrow, but uh, right now I feel I can not get out my full potential. We will see. It's not a good feeling now. Thank you. Hallå. Hallå, går det? Ja, det går bra. Vi har väl lite på hur det går med dig då? Jag ligger på annan plats. Ja, men det är bra. Men du, vad som går det med en jenta? Hon är på fem år. Har hon blivit opererad? 
Det ja, hon blev opererad här för ett par dagar sedan. Så det gick väldigt fint. Ja. Så smulsen är er ju borta och så är vi tillbaka oss på sängposten ska komma sig vidare. Ja. Är er föräldrarna där då eller? Ja, mor har kommit samma med mor sig som mor är där. Moren är där ja. Så hon är er glad hon då. Ja. ja, det är er väldigt det är er en jente som har hemma så blev hon väldigt mycket mobbad. Så hon uh, hade inte så många vänner hemma och törde egentligen inte gå ut längre hemma på grund av att uh, de andra barnen var lo av hon. Men nu efter operationen så börjar hon på något sätt att bli en helt annan jente. För nu känner hon ju att hon uh, kan uh, få vänner och kan vara samma med andra utan att vara rädd för att de ska le av hon. Det är er flink alltså. Tänk dig den jobben ni gör då. Och blir så glad vet du. Men efter speaking with the people on the ship and I heard about uh, Holaye that was operated about this tumor. Wow, so what I'm doing out here is nothing compared to what they are doing on this ship. Tomorrow is uh, the last stage and I'm very tired but of course I think also Butori is very tired but I'm not going to ask him because then he will figure out that I'm tired but Yes, he's an old man too, so it's only two minutes. Everything can happen tomorrow. It's not so long tomorrow, but uh, I will give full gas again. I will try. So, we got the river. We got the river right now. Today is the last chance. Um, the last stage, and uh, it's only two minutes, but uh, I will do my very best. The big risk is actually the engine. It's my feeling to if something happened to that if I push too hard, but. Before I've been riding for myself, but now I'm riding for something bigger. Yes, I can't wait now to get to Dhaka to finish finish this race. This stage I will win. I, I know the route. I don't have to look on, on the map. That's bigger than everything for me right now. And now I can see the end of this. Getting to Dakar, getting to Mercy Ship, getting on board. I got a place. <laughs> I think the people from the ship is at the finish line and I want to be there first to meet them. First to the finish line, I saw the Norwegian flag and the people from Mercy Ship. The people was there. It was amazing, fantastic. And then, <laughs> and for the first time, I could not feel the pain in my neck. It was a fantastic feeling to see them, meet them, speak with them. Det var ikke så mange som visste det, men... Det var hemmelig. Forrige gang var vi på mitt hjem, og 
Altså, han visste jo meg rundt uh, der hvor han hadde vokst opp og bodd, og nå får jeg muligheten til å gjøre det. Uh, og noe som uh, jeg tror også han setter pris på å kunne komme til kjipet og se hvordan det er da. Gratulerer! Takk! Det ble bare en A-plass, men jeg uh, fort gjort det går galt. Du er vel fornøyd med det? Ja, jeg er det. Ja. Det blir gammelt. Most important, I give all I had all the way, because if I hadn't been doing that and was only so close to win, that, that's not a good feeling. But I put out all my potential and uh, was second, and that's a good feeling. And uh, I'm here, I'm collecting some money for the ship, and I can go on board. Can't wait. <laughs> Looking forward to get on board on the ship. That will be fantastic. Uh, I think it will be a memory for the whole life to get on board that. When I went to the ship and walked the step up, on board uh, was a little bit scary feeling, amazing. I uh, was happy, glad. Hi, To be on board on the ship and see all the people that was getting operated and all this, and to see it by yourself is uh, it's uh, very amazing. Mama, guys. I think uh, all the people there get all this um, help walking out of that ship and get the operation. A new life, new dreams, and uh, it's, uh, they are doing a fantastic uh, job.